Hi, it's Dave of Urban Astro. It's been a while since I've done a video, and the reason is that I've had computer issues. Now, usually in astrophotography, we like to talk about things like telescopes or mounts or uh, you know what kind of focusing devices we may use or maybe even the software but rarely do we ever talk about our computers and to be honest with you our computers are probably the second most important piece of equipment that we have besides the mount and I say that because that's where all the magic happens is on the computer you can capture data and having a good mount allows you to capture pretty good data um, and of course you've got the cameras and the telescopes and all that other kind of stuff but I would say that probably the computer would be the second most important thing because that's where one does one's processing that's where you take all the beautiful data that you've captured and you create the image and so what you have for your computer is pretty important especially because it will enable you to be able to store all that data it be able allow you to be able to stack all that data and it will allow you to be able to process all that data so one of the first things I had to do was I had to get new um, new monitors I had been using Dell 27 inch um, IPS monitors which had I think 97 percent of the uh, Adobe color space and I had been using those for a number of years probably about five to six years and now all of a sudden um, one of them just wouldn't even turn on and the other one um, we're showing it's a dual monitors means that basically I am able to process maybe something on one screen and have something else on a second screen. And then I started having issues with my hard drives. I had a series of eight uh, eight terabyte hard drives and I was using Microsoft storage spaces for that and I was having problems I was having issues it kept telling me that uh, the storage spaces was unstable and so I would back everything up to my NAS to my network of torch storage I use true NAS and I have that in a separate box so I put everything over there and then I would um, tear down or uh, remove the storage space uh, drive mapping and then I would recreate it again after having checked all my hard drives and my hard drives kept coming back saying that they were just fine and then I would copy all that data back onto the new storage spaces uh, and then two or three days later it would kept telling me that it was unstable I did this like two or three times and finally just gave up and realized that I needed to really upgrade my whole storage subsystem. And then I kept getting messages telling me that there was something wrong with my boot drive. And my boot drive was an SSD. It was a one terabyte SSD and I kept having issues with it and I kept having issues with it. And so it dawned on me that I needed to upgrade my boot drive. And so I got an M2 NVMe, a uh, two terabyte Samsung uh, 960 EVO drive, and put that thing in and reinstalled Windows all over again. And that took me a couple times because I left the old drive plugged in. And so what was happening was it was there was two instances and it kept trying to boot off of the old one but was on the new one and I was I wasn't sure what was going on so I had to basically um, 
gut the system, uh, take out the old SSD drives, unplug everything, and then reinstall fresh on the M2 NVMe RAM drive, and finally got it up. And then I decided, because uh, I decided that it was probably time to upgrade my video card. I had the old um, ASUS uh, NVIDIA GeForce, I think it was the 1060 uh, GTX drive, um, not drive, but uh, video card, and so I upgraded it. And now I finally have a stable system that works. So let me show you the insides. Okay, I'm down here on the floor. And I've taken the cover off of my case here so that you can see all the pieces and parts that I've added to my system in order to uh, fix the issues that I was coming up with. So one of the things was I decided it was probably a perfect time to upgrade my video card. Video cards are very important when you do pics in sight, as well as Adobe Photoshop. So I've got that as one of my upgrades. My other upgrade that I did was I was, I used to have a RAID 5 system and I changed it out for Microsoft storage spaces. I figured it'd be one less hardware failure point but coming towards the end of summer I kept encountering issues where the system would say that the storage system was unstable and so I would reboot and everything would come up just fine. I checked the hard drives, the hard drives had no errors, everything seemed to be working just fine but then suddenly it would say that the storage system was unstable and so we kept going back and forth and I finally decided that it wasn't worth risking all of my data in order to, I don't know, if you will, play with Microsoft at that point. So I went out and I got a High Point Rocket Raid, I believe this is a 3720C. Uh, RAID card and it's capable of RAID 1, 2, 3, 5 and I think 50 and some other RAID modes but right now I have it in RAID 5 and attached to that I've upgraded my discs so attached to my new RAID card are three 16 terabyte drives and a RAID 5 configuration uh, for those who don't know, what that basically means is that you have three disks in use with parity data across all three drives, which basically means that, for instance, if this middle drive here um, basically gives up the ghost and I replace it with a brand new drive, it can recreate the data on that drive from the parity data that's on the other drives. And so there's parity data for each drive on a different drive, so that way you can quickly recover. One of the other new things that I got was I kept having my C drive kept having issues in terms of bad sectors. And I believe it was the cause of my computer just basically just dropping out and immediately rebooting. Uh, I'd be in the middle of processing pictures or in the middle of editing videos when all of a sudden everything would just shut down and then start right back up again and I'd lose everything that I'd been working on. And so I replaced my, at this point in time, it's a couple years old, my SSD drive which was just a standard SSD drive. I replaced it with an M2 NVMe. Uh, it's a two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo uh, NVMe drive. Uh, like I said, it's got two terabytes and I've also got a heat sink on it to, for the most part, try to protect it as much as I could against heat. So that way it will reduce the potential of failures. So that's been a new upgrade. So I've upgraded 
my disk I.O. system. I've got a new C drive, which is now this M2 NVMe. I've got an updated video card. And the last upgrade that I've done is I've expanded my memory. Uh, hopefully you can see here. But I now have four memory sticks. I used to only have two. Each stick is 32 gigs. I had 64 and now I'm up to 128. So hopefully that ends up helping me in terms of processing power. In terms of like Astro Pixel Processor now has plenty of room to grow because well there's 128 gigs of memory. So I don't think I'm going to expand or use up the 128. At least I don't think I will. We shall see. But so those are the upgrades that I have done to my system and will hopefully help in a lot of the different issues that I've been encountering throughout the course of the summer. So I'm hoping and I'll be testing over the next couple of weeks that these upgrades will resolve my computer issues. Now, this is a part of astrophotography that you hardly ever hear anybody talk about. We're all into the telescopes and into the cameras and into filters and into mounts. But we often forget about the other part of astrophotography, which is actually the processing of everything. And there, we usually focus in on things like software, you know, on whether or not you use Deep Sky Stacker or, Ax or um, Astro Pixel Processor, which is what I use, or how to configure those different pieces of software, or we talk about PixInsight or Photoshop, we talk about how to process pictures in either of those particular tools, but rarely do we ever talk about the underlying desktop or the underlying computer that's used to process all that and to be honest with you you can get away with it for pretty cheap but your mileage may vary and I have found over the years that oftentimes it's helpful um, to have enough expansion if you will and your processing capabilities to keep up with new software upgrades. It seems that with every new software upgrade, there's new features, there's new functionality, and that requires additional processing, additional memory, um, more disk space is really kind of the big one. So I have my new system set up and I'm hoping that everything here works well. We shall see. And if you continue to see videos coming out, then you know that my issue's been resolved and we're good to go. So, yeah. So you think that, you know, astrophotography is just mounts and telescopes and cameras and filters and other things, but it also includes your desktop computer and its functionality and its capability. So anyways, if you found this at all to be interesting or helpful or have any questions, feel free to add them down below. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Just saying. Um, and until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.